Three, two, one, go. Go, 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 go. Okay, this is this is gonna be very bad. This okay. That is literally one of the best enchants you can get. Hey guys, it's Fruit and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft multiplayer survival. So as you guys can see right now, we are at the front of the archives and we are joined with Zetro and Prod. So guys, what, what, how are you feeling today? You doing good? Yeah. Yeah, man. So to start this video off today, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be heading over to the nether with a bunch of TNT. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to head over to Prod's creeper farm. We're going to get a bunch of gunpowder, a bunch of sand. We're going to make so much TNT and we're just going to dive straight into things and go on a little bit of a hunt to get some netherite. So as you guys can see, Prod's still using some diamond stuff over there. I mean, even I'm using diamond gear still, apart from my chest plate, of course. So to start off today's episode, I think it'd be a good idea for us all to go to the nether and just get a bunch of netherite and stuff like that. So are you guys ready? All right, so here we are at Prod's creeper farm and guys, just take a look at how efficient this thing is like how many sacks of gunpowder is that I, I don't even know but basically we're gonna take most of this gunpowder turn it into tnt and then head over to the nether so wait do you guys have any sand so to make tnt you just gotta go like that maybe this as well i think yeah okay so we can make 13 pieces of the tnt that's just not gonna be enough is it we're gonna need some more how much tnt would you even say we're gonna need like a stack each probably more no probably a stack each yeah okay so i can actually make so much tnt now so if we go like that boom we now have 37 pieces and if i go back into the chest here we should be able to get like a bunch more so let's just take all of this go back into the crafting table go through and add all the gunpowder just like that let's just get all these leftover bits here just like that and we should now have a stack and 17 oh my goodness 64 and 17 okay that's gonna be more than enough let's head to the nether all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and go down to the normal netherite spot that we go to which i think is like around level 12 13 or 14 yeah, one of those oh god there's so many of these oh, things oh geez they're fast as well oh geez all right so yeah let's just go down there we're gonna get all the tnt prepared and yeah let's hope this is actually gonna work apparently it's the most efficient way to actually get netherite so uh let's see if it's true i think i've got a good idea of how we can do this if we dig straight down here fill all yep. of this up with tnt oh, all right no. everyone might want to move back for this one all right you ready run oh. run 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 okay i don't know if this is gonna work this okay oh jeez okay this is oh, way better God. than using a pickaxe all right the, the thing is did we find any come on don't do us like that Come on, is this method real? Okay, that was our first attempt, all right? Prod's gonna go ahead and give it a try. All right, go for it. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting you to do it that soon. All right. Oh, 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 yes, it actually worked. All right, guys, see? Yeah, TNT doesn't even destroy it. Okay, that does work. All right, I'm gonna go. I think we've been doing it pretty good, but I'm filling up all of this with TNT. All right. Three, two, one, go. Go, 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 go. Okay, this is this is gonna be very bad. This, okay. Jeez. Oh, oh. Oh no. no, we can't even see if we got any because look, look at the lava. All right, here we go. I'm going in big. I'm going in big with this amount of TNT. I use quite a bit here. Come on, this has got to work. Oh yes, I found some. Yes, right, I actually got some. Five. All right, I'm on fire, but I think it's just one piece. And yeah. Okay, so we have arrived back at our house, as you guys can see. And I mean, I only was able to get three pieces of ancient debris when we were using the TNT method. So I've gone back to the creeper farm, got a bunch more gunpowder, and we are going to go back and we are going to do it even better. What we're going to do is we're going to find a random place in the nether. I mean, we are going to fly out many blocks to go to a completely new area. We're then going to grab a bunch of redstone, a lever, and we're basically going to set off this TNT way better than we did with the last TNT. So let's just make as much as we can. I think we're going to make maybe one stack on the dot or maybe just a little less than a stack. So let's just see here. We can make that much let's just split that there keep splitting it across just like that now this should get us around i don't even know how much is that going to give us about 56 that's not bad now let's get our redstone and a lever and let's go ahead and let's set it off way better than what we just did there so let's make a few more levers right here all right so we're in the nether and we're already getting attacked by these things now i've got a bunch of pork chops just from killing these things but we've got our redstone and we've got our levers so i think we're just going to use our fireworks to go to a completely new area as much as i hate using my elytra in the nether we've just got to go ahead and do it oh this is so scary i, I literally hate using these things inside the nether because you just don't know when there's going to be lava around the corner all right, here we go. So I think we should start around here. This is a completely new area. We haven't mined it yet. And we've got our redstone, we've got our levers, and we've got our TNT. So I think we're just going to dig down and we're just going to get to work. Okay, so as you guys can see, we've gone down quite a lot. And I think we're just going to kind of spread the TNT out around here. I think this is quite a good level to find ancient debris. So let's just start maybe putting some TNT around. Let's also use redstone so we can link it all up just like that. Let's go all the way back here. We don't want to get exploded by this because that would actually kind of suck. All right, let's put some TNT here as well. Let's redstone that all the way back over to here just like that. Okay, now this should let all this TNT explode so we're gonna go all the way back here put the lever down okay here we go three two one uh wait what maybe we need to do that and then that oh yep that works oh geez that scared me all right here we go come on this should work oh god oh no oh 
Oh, all right, we've actually found two pieces doing this already. That is way better than what I was using earlier. And how much TNT did we use? We didn't even use that much. So we've got two there. Have we got any around the area? No, I think that's about it. But the only bad thing about doing this is the amount of lava. This is going to be five pieces we're going to have in total now. So there's one and there is two. And then we've still got TNT in there that we've got a light. Is there any way I can cover up this lava? I think if I do that, it's just going to cover up. Okay, that's perfect. All right, let's go in here. Let's just use our flint and steel for this. Get rid of this redstone. Okay, I think we're just going to light all this TNT up. Okay, let's move back. I do not want to get hit by that. That is going to be an absolute ton. Oh, oh my. Okay, did we get any? Surely there's got to be at least one piece in here. All right, let's block our way over here. There's got to be at least one piece in here. I just want full netherite armor, okay? I just want full netherite armor again. There's got to be some. No? There's none in there. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, let's just use the rest of this TNT. All right, so I've got quite a good idea. So if we just fill all of this with TNT, put redstone all the way back here. All right, let's mine out here a little bit like that. Let's put some TNT in there. Let's connect that with redstone as well. Put it all above this TNT. And now if we go all the way back here, all right, if we put that down there, then we just maybe fill up a little bit more with TNT. I think maybe we should do this way as well. Like we want to get as much surface area here as possible. So if we go like that, put all the redstone back there. It's all connected. Okay, so I think we're going to try this out. Come on. This should at least give us one piece. Okay, there we go. Hopefully the TNT just doesn't fling over and hit me. I think we're going to be good from here though. All right, there we go. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, okay. So we got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, this is way more efficient than what I was doing earlier. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Okay, six plus five is 11. So that's 11 pieces that we're going to have. Is there any more? Okay, no, but that is perfect. That is such a good amount just from that amount of TNT. All right, so any more around that's just hiding? I think that is all that we found. That is so good. Honestly, that is so much more better than I thought. All right, let's just get all of this. All right, is there any more hiding? Okay, no, I think I'm just going to mine around the area just in case there's any more, but I think that's everything for now. All right, let's just get this. Okay, this, this honestly, I didn't believe in the TNT method at first, but now, now I'm starting to believe it because this is getting us so much. Okay, we've got 11 pieces now. Let's make our way over towards there because that's where I want to use TNT next. But honestly, just look at the amount of damage the TNT does to the netherrack because obviously netherrack isn't the strongest block in the game. So it's really easy for the TNT to just destroy it. So just like we did last time, we're going to go TNT in that direction, TNT in that direction. And then also let's put some TNT in this direction as well. So then let's all join this up with redstone. We've got plenty more redstone. So let's just join it all up. All right, let's just put this down and let's just let it explode. All right. Okay, actually, I'm going to walk back because, you know, like it could just TNT towards me. All right. Come on, any in here, any luck? Okay, so apparently this bit didn't want to explode, so let's just sort that out real quick. We can just flint and steal it. All right, come on. All right, wait, did that actually damage me? I think it damaged me through the wall, but yeah, we've got no luck again. I think we've got unlucky again. Let's just keep going with the last 14 pieces of TNT we have. So we are now on our last two pieces of TNT, and I mean, ancient debris, I mean, I knew it was rare, but I didn't realize it was gonna be this rare. So we're just gonna keep going, and I wanna make sure I don't leave the nether until I've got enough ancient debris to turn all of my armor into netherite, all of my tools into netherite. So guys, as I said, I'm not leaving this until we've done that. So the reason I'm getting all of this ancient debris is obviously to turn everything that I have diamond into netherite. We're not just gonna turn this helmet, these leggings, these boots, or any of these tools into netherite. We're actually going to go ahead, get some of the best enchants you can in the game for all of these pieces of gear, and then we're going to turn them all into netherite, and we should have the most overpowered gear you can get in the whole of the game. So basically, that's that's actually the plan of what we're trying to do, and as you guys can see, I now have 19 ancient debris. I mean, it has taken me quite a while to get these 19 pieces of ancient debris, but what we actually need to turn a helmet, leggings, boots, a shovel, and an axe into netherite gear, we're actually going to need 20 pieces of ancient debris, and I have literally just found the last piece we need right here. So let's just dig around. We found another piece right there, but yeah, so we now have 21 pieces of ancient debris. So, so we're going to go ahead now back to the base, turn a bunch of OP gear into netherite. But first off, we need to get a bunch of levels. So I think what we're going to do, go back, store all of this stuff in a bunch of chests, and then go over to the Enderman farm, get a bunch of XP, and then start enchanting stuff to get some of the best gear we can get in Minecraft. And then guys, I also have a really good name that one of you guys left in the comments of what we can call the upgrade room. So, so yeah, thank you guys all so much for the name suggestions of the upgrade room, but I've picked one and it's really, really awesome. So we're going to go ahead and also name that. So let's just head back and get all of this stuff done. Okay, so we've arrived back to our house. How, how are you doing, Spike? Well, I mean, that's pretty cool. But guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and put all of our stuff back in the chest. We're going to head to the end, get a bunch of XP. Then we are going to start work on getting the God gear and then putting it inside of the upgrade room, which we are about to name right now. So guys, let's just go ahead and name the upgrade room. Let's just smell our ancient debris and let's head over there. All right. So we've gone ahead and called it the powerhouse. So huge credit to this guy right here for this name. I really, really liked it. I think it just fit the theme really, really well of obviously it being like an upgrade room and like an armory and stuff like that. So I just thought the powerhouse fit really, really well. So huge shout out to you. So yeah, let's now head to the end and let's get some XP. All right, guys, before we head over to the end though prod has a little gift for us aka i'm gonna give him 16 diamonds for this sweeping edge book which he has right here so prod thank you very much for this this is gonna help me out get the enderman uh, a little bit better but real quick do you want to quickly show us what you've done with the uh, villager breeder cool oh yeah. uh, okay so, so guys you may have seen this a few episodes back and it was literally just it just looked like it was under in a little cave but now prod has actually spent a little bit of time revamping it and i think it looks really nice so here we got the mending villager oh no here he is here's the mending villager let's wake him up oh no here we have the mending villager right here so i mean 10 emeralds 
for a mending book. Then over here, we have our emerald one where we give him, I think it's 32 sticks. Yeah, 32 sticks for an emerald. Oh my, protection four. Yeah. I didn't know we had that. Oh, but look at the amount of emeralds. Of emeralds yeah. That's yeah, 43 emeralds. Yeah, but we can there is a way you can get cheaper prices. So yeah, we've got a, we've got a protection right there, mending, and then we can just like I don't know, we can fill them up with maybe like unbreaking and stuff like that, like and maybe some efficiency ones as well. But yeah, I think it looks really good. But guys, what we're going to do is right now is I'm going to head over to the end, get a bunch of XP, and then basically prod if you didn't know what I'm doing, I'm basically just going to get like the, the best gear and the best tools in the whole entire game and just basically make my upgrade room look a little bit better or as it's now called, the powerhouse. All right, so here we are at the end portal. Let's just go through. Here we are and let's head over to the XP grinder. And also real quick while we're heading over to the XP farm here. Make sure you guys comment down below what you want us to build in the next episode or just an upcoming episode. Give us some good build ideas and that would really mean a lot. So guys, let's go ahead and let's get to maybe level 50 or something. Let's go. Okay, so we're about to get level 50. As you guys can see, we are very, very close. We're about two bars off. Let's just see if we can get that real quick. Boom. There it is. Level 50. All we need to do now is just go back and enchant our stuff. So let's just go. Okay, so we made it back to our base yet again, and we have all the netherite scraps here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is turn all of this into actual netherite ingots right here. So we've got five of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this shovel into a netherite shovel. And I know it's nearly broken, but if we actually get mending on it, and I think I do have a mending book in here. I bought a few earlier. So yeah, as you guys can see, I've got three mending books, and we're going to go to the villager area and purchase even more mending books. But for now, we're going to use these three, and then we're probably going to have to buy like a few more. So yeah, as I said, I'm going to put mending on this shovel so we can get that durability that shovel all the way back up by using it we're then going to try and get a good enchant on the axe and just to save diamonds as well i'm going to unenchant all of these pieces of armor and re-enchant them and then put mending on all of them as well so the durability really doesn't matter seeing as if they have mending on they're going to be able to get their durability all the way back so real quick let's actually grab these mending books real quick and put them in this shulker box now i think i do have lapis in here so yeah we've got loads of lapis let's put the mending books up there and let's go ahead and see if we can get some good armor enchants because guys i'm excited to have the best armor in the game so let's go ahead and do that all right so here we are we are at the archives let's just disenchant all of this armor real quick. Let's just go ahead, get rid of all those enchants, and guys, I hope we can get lucky. As you guys can see, we got 50 levels, so if we don't get lucky straight away, we can always keep disenchanting and stuff like that. So let's just go with the helmet right now. Uh, actually, yeah, let's put the lapis in. Okay, I'm breaking three. If it's protection four as well, this could be good. Okay, literally just I'm breaking three. All right, not too bad. I mean, I mean, we are going to definitely disenchant that, but let's try again. Fire protection IV, I'm breaking three. I mean, that's not the best as well. Okay, here we go, protection four. And now, if we get an unbreaking villager, that'll actually be really good. So, I'm actually going to keep this um, enchant here with the protection, because that is really good. But what we're going to do is we're going to disenchant. Let's disenchant the boots and the helmet. But, guys, I'm keeping that leggings enchant, because protection four, that's actually not too bad. But let's just keep going with these. Oh, okay. Protection four on the boots again. As I said, if we do get an unbreaking villager and an aqua affinity villager for the helmet and stuff like that, we can have some really good enchants. But I just really like having protection four. So, let's just go with that. And then, with for the helmet, I'm breaking three fire protection three not too bad let's just get rid of it though because i just really the main enchant i want on all of them to start off with is just protection four because i feel like that's just one of the best enchants you can get on armor oh my goodness that is literally one of the best enchants you can get protection four on breaking three respiration three and acro affinity i don't think it can get much better than that okay i am very happy with that all right now let's try the axe come on fortune three and efficiency i mean i don't know whether i want to try my luck and try and get an unbreaking on it i mean should we try and get an unbreaking on it or should we just wait till we get an unbreaking villager or i think i might have another axe with unbreaking on we'll have to go check it out but guys look at that armor if we get the unbreaking villagers inside of an upcoming episode that is going to be some of the best armor we can get now i think we just got to go ahead now and buy some more mending books off the villager but let me just go check something back at the base i want to see if i have an unbreaking three axe so let's just go see that real quick and if we don't let's just go grind out some sticks to sell to the villager okay so i've just looked through all my chests and i don't think we do have any other axes but guys i think we're just going to go with this enchantment for now because if we do get mending on it as well i think unbreaking is just something we can work on in the future but mending for now is going to be good so let's go ahead and grind out a bunch of sticks sell them all to the villager and let's work towards getting even better armor than we already have all right so we're back with prod and what i want to do is prod look at the amount of birch logs i have all right look at that look I mean, you have to pick it up, but that is that is a solid four stacks right there. So yeah, that's a lot of birch logs. So I'm going to turn them all into sticks, right? And I'm literally going to buy a bunch of mending books. 16 emeralds is the max. All right, now to get the mending, we need 10. And I also just realized I need a book. Oh, yep. I knew like you were going to do it. <laughs> I always forget the book. I always forget. Oh, wait, this one sticks as well. This one, I found another stick one. All right, here we go. We got so many for sticks. All right, come on, buddy. Give me all the emeralds. I think I need 30 emeralds to make this possible. Okay, I've got 30. All right, and right. how many books? Okay, put all the emeralds there. Boom, three mending books. Let's go. I mean, bro, I just want to say, like, this is... 
This is a great work that you've done down here. I really like it. Also, another thing we really need to do, Prod, is get an Unbreaking 3 Villager because I've got, we've, we've got every good Villager pretty much apart from Unbreaking and Efficiency. Oh, it's actually not expensive. It, for the helmet, it's two enchantment levels. All right, let's add Mending to the Boots. Okay, let's also call it God Boots. Onto the Diamond Leggings. Let's add Mending to that. Also call it God Leggings. God Leggings, just like that. Okay, okay, there we go. God Chestplate as well. So, we now have a full... God set. All right, let's get the other mending books out my shulker box real quick. Let's just get rid of that. All right, here we go. So now we need to turn the shovel to a mending. I wanted to do a little bit of a tribute to the first netherite pickaxe we had, and that was obviously called the fru axe, and it's going to cost me 32 levels. So I think we're going to have to do a little bit more XP grinding to get that. But for now, let's go turn it all into netherite stuff. Okay, so here we are at the powerhouse. So let's just go on in and let's turn everything to netherite. So let's go. God helmet. Let's turn that to netherite. Turn that to netherite. God leggings. Turn that to netherite. God axe. Turn that to netherite. God shovel. Turn that to netherite. Oh my prod, are you ready to see what I look like? I'm ready. Bro, literally. We also definitely need to get the uh, Unbreaking Villager for these two pieces, but let's actually go. We got it. We did what we said we were going to do this episode and get a full set of God Armor, so I'm pretty happy with that. All right, so as you can see, we have put the God Armor inside of the powerhouse, and that is our first complete set of basically God Armor, but it's just missing a few fire protections and Unbreakings, but prod, what do you think of that? How, how do you think that looks? It looks honestly amazing. Alright, so that is where we are going to end this episode, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you guys comment down below what you guys want us to build in the next episode. And apart from that, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to join the Discord. And guys, have a great rest of your day and peace.